Hello friends, my name is Rashmi. Welcome to a new video. Today, we will learn about group discussion. Now, I'm sure you would be surprised. Why are we learning about group discussion? We do it every day when we meet our friends at a cafe nearby. Trust me, the group discussion meaning has absolutely changed in today's scenario. Group discussion is now used as a recruitment tool. It is used as a tool of mass rejection or mass reduction. So, we're going to learn more details about group discussion and how to face group discussion with more comfort and ease. So, first let's understand why group discussion. During the old school days or during uh, previously, companies never used group discussion as a recruitment tool. They only depended on face-to-face -face interaction or face-to-face -face interviews. But in recent time, the number of candidates applying for the job has increased. So, for example, Infosys is hiring for software engineers. There would be 100 to 150 software engineers lined up to go out for an interview. It becomes very difficult on part of the HR to conduct face-to-face -face interviews for 100 and 150 candidates. This is the reason why for mass reduction or mass rejection purpose to filter the best candidates, they utilize GD. So the rounds are in this format. Number one, you go ahead with the technical round. You have to face an aptitude test or a technical round. People who pass the technical round or the aptitude test then move on to round number two. Round two is GD, group discussion. If you pass GD, then you move ahead with round number three. Round number three is personal interview or face-to-face -face interview. So these are the three levels in which you pass. Now, many a times we have this question, why GD? How does it really help? So GD is not just important for companies, but also for candidates. In a group discussion, you can share opinion, you can listen to people around. You get a 360 degree approach of looking at a topic. Your attitude changes. You learn how to talk to people, converse with people. So these are a few benefits. And the most important benefit, let me share, group discussion will help the company filter the best candidate because they know what skills are to be checked and tested when it comes to a group discussion. So let's move ahead with the format. Let's understand the format. Once you pass the technical round or the aptitude test, you are sent into a conference room. A conference room which will have a round table. Generally, they prefer round tables to avoid conflicts. Square or rectangle can involve you into fights because it has got corners. So it's very important to have a round table in a conference room. This is where the participants are asked to be seated. Number of participants. Number of participants can range from eight minimum max 12 they would avoid more than 12 because then each of you or each participant needs time to place his or her opinion so 8 to 12 now there is a panel of judges sitting right behind you and a supervisor to lead or to address the team or the group next point there are a list of topics which can be given during a gd it would include cultural topics, controversial topics, abstract topics. We will learn more about the topics later. But as of now, understand the supervisor is supposed to throw a topic at the group and the group starts discussing over it. Preparation time is three minutes. So you get three minutes to prepare your group discussion. During this time, you can use a notepad and a pen. So always keep a notepad pen handy to make notes and utilize this three minutes to the best. Next, what skills are checked? So let me tell you what skills are checked during a GD. The panel of judges sitting behind you is there to check two skill sets. One, how you deal with a problem. Because in everyday professional life, we have to deal with technical and non-technical issues. So they want to know how many of candidates are good leaders. They don't want to hire employees. Employees are very easy to hire. Companies expect leaders. And to judge a good leader, we need to know how good the leader is in solving problems every day, whether technical or non-technical. So during a GD, they see how candidates are solution-oriented. 
when they're discussing, are they repeating on the same problem again and again, or are they coming up with some creative, innovative solutions? They also try to check when you are dealing with problems, do you get emotional? How determined you are? How confident you are? How do you take up decisions? These all pointers are checked when it comes to how they deal with problem. The next skill set which they check is how you deal with people. People handling skills very, very important. So many a times during face to face interview, many candidates say I am super confident. I'm very good in communication. I'm a fantastic leader. I love working in a team. But the same person when we do a reality check in a GD might lose patience might end up into fights, might sound arrogant. So GD is like the big boss of recruitment. It's the best tool to do a reality check and to understand how a person interacts, communicates with people he does not know. Because in a GD, you'll be surrounded with people, students, candidates whom you're unaware of. They're absolutely strangers. So how you deal with them, how you communicate, how you place your opinion, how you respect others' opinion, how you listen, what's your body language, do you get intimidated, how good you are at English. All these points would be checked when it comes to a GD. So let us conclude with a quick recap of what we learned. First, we learned what is a group discussion. Second, how it's used as a recruitment tool today, its importance. Third, we touched base with the format of the GD. Format of the GD is the time limits, the setting, the people around. And last but not the least, what are the skill sets checked by the company when they're conducting a group discussion? That's all from my end today. Enjoy. Thank you.